Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Kost from made2create.me and today I just want to show you how to quickly export your Fruity Loops project files or your .flp files so that other people can open them on their computer and basically pick up right where you left off. So this would be useful if you're getting your songs mixed and mastered, if you're collaborating on beats or songs in general, or if you just want to get a second opinion from other artists. So basically there's two ways that you can do this. There's the easy way and there's the hard way. But I'm going to go ahead and show you both ways anyways, just so you can educate yourself a little bit on how it works. But before I actually get into showing you how it's done, anytime when you're actually doing this, you're going to want to purge your unused audio clips. Basically what that means is just getting rid of all the audio clips that you're not using. As you can actually see here, and I'm working on a song right now that I will sent to me to get it mixed and mastered. So if you want to check out his stuff, I'll leave you guys a link below. But if you look here, there's so many untitled audio clips. Now, basically what this is, is just a result of all the recordings that he never ended up using or ended up dragging into his playlist. The reason why we want to get rid of all these recordings is because it's actually going to help us make the file that we're sending to the other artist a little bit more compact. So instead of creating a file that might be two or 300 megabytes large, we can actually create a file that's only maybe 80 megabytes. This is actually pretty useful if you have a fairly slow internet connection. So in order to get rid of all those unused audio clips, what you want to do is hit tools, macros, and purge unused audio clips right here. And right away, you can tell the difference of the audio clips that we actually have in the list here. The list is much shorter because we got rid of the audio clips that we're not using. So once you got rid of the audio clips that you're not using, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click File and Save. And once you save the project, you're ready to export it. But before we export the project, we're gonna wanna create a folder as to where we can export the project to. So we're gonna go ahead to our desktop, create new folder, and just name that folder. For now, I'm just gonna call it Tutorial. So once we name that folder, we can go back to FL Studio, go to File, hit Export, and hit Project Data Files. Now all we have to do is find our folder. In uh, my case, it's going to be on the desktop. So My Mac Desktop and Tutorials. Just select OK. Now for me, it went pretty quick because I'm on a pretty good computer. But if you're on a slower machine, this may actually take a while. So just give it some time. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and open the tutorial folder that we just created, and you will see all the audio tracks that that project actually needs in order to function. Now, once you have all the audio tracks, you're going to want to save the FLP to that folder as well, so that FL Studio actually knows where to place those audio tracks and what to do with those audio tracks. So again, you just click on Save As, find the folder that we just created, and hit Save. Now that will save the project to the folder that we created and it's going to be ready to be opened up. Now it's also a good idea to include your project bones in the folder. And I'll explain what project bones are in a second. So go to file, hit export and hit project bones. Find your folder again and click OK. Now once you export your project bones you're going to see a new folder that looks like this. Now this folder only contains a fairly small size, but this is always a good thing to include as well because the person receiving your files will automatically have all your automation clips, your channels, all the effects that you used, your mixer track states, and your scores. This basically just sends the other artists all the presets that you used. So basically that's all you need to include. So once you're done, you can zip up that folder, on a Mac, just right click and compress. That'll automatically pack it into a zip and you're ready to send it off to your artist. Now, I did promise you that I was gonna show you the easy way of how to do this as well. So if you're the kind of person that likes taking shortcuts, pay attention now. If you don't wanna go through the hassle of exporting all those things yourself, you can just click on File, hit Save As, and hit the drop down right here. Now, you'll see a bunch of options, but the one that we're going to want is zipped loop file right here. Now, this basically automatically zips the file for you and packages all of the files that you need into one folder neatly compressed for you to send it off. But you do want to make sure that the extension code back here actually says zip and not FLP. 
So we're going to get rid of the FLP and hit zip. Then you just select the destination that you want to save it to. In my case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop and hit save. Now down here you can see that it's actually processing the zip file and compressing everything for me. This step does take a little bit longer if you're on a slower computer, but it's worth it if you don't want to put in the effort to zip all the files manually. So once everything's zipped up, you should have a zip folder that looks like this. If you want to open it, you just double click it to unzip. And here's the new folder that we got out of the zip. And basically it has all the files that you're going to need to open that Fruity Loops project, except for the project bones. Now, like I said earlier, the other artists will still be able to open up that file, but they may not get the full benefits. So it's really up to you what you want to do. So anyways, I just wanted to show that to you guys quick. I hope I can help a little bit. If you guys want to do me a favor, check out my website, madetocreate.me. The link's in the description for more awesome tutorials, instrumentals, featured artists, and services like mixing and mastering your music. We're always running new promotions, so if you want to go over, check it out, see what we're running right now, and maybe even get you the chance to win something cool. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's really important to me that you do. I'll be uploading more videos soon, and if you have a request for a topic that you want me to cover, just leave it in the comment box below, and I will try to cover it as thoroughly as possible. So leaving on that note, thanks a lot for watching and have fun with what you just learned. So with a unique pattern.